Dan Ives just said, and I reported in the last video, that Tesla stock will have a massive rally in the second half of 2024. And that's exactly what I believe as well. Now, the biggest catalyst upcoming is July 2nd's delivery number, and that will be this Tuesday. And judging off of what Tesla stock has done in just the past couple of days, breaking above your critical level of resistance around 188, breaking above $200 per share on Friday. Yes, you did close lower than that. We'll talk about why that happened. But usually you want to see how a stock reacts heading into a data point. This rally that we've seen lately shows a lot of confidence. That Q2 number could actually come in really good and lead to a further rally in Tesla stock. Now, here in this video, I will go over my expectations for Tesla stock in the second half of 2024 and also what I think could happen to broader markets. And yes, there is a bull case scenario. There's a bear case scenario and right in the middle. I'll share with you guys my expectations. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are you expecting for Tesla stock in the second half of 2024? And what are you expecting in the broader markets? Now, just to be clear, I made a video about what Dan Ive said yesterday. If you want to watch the full interview he did on CNBC, check out that video. It's Dan Ives in the thumbnail. It's like two videos ago. Pretty easy to find. But Dan Ives, he is one of the top analyst on wall street period and he thinks tesla stock will have a massive run in the second half of 2024 now there's a couple things to consider it's all about the outlook going ahead a lot of people they get and investors i should say we get so used to what has already happened the decline that tesla's seen the price cuts that tesla has done the delivery numbers that have come in weak but that doesn't matter it's all about what is coming next for Tesla? And what's coming next for Tesla should be margins that can improve the rubble taxi event on August 8th, which can open up, as Adam Jonas says with Morgan Stanley, a new um, way to approach Tesla. We're going to get a lot more new details on when we can expect the rubble taxi launch itself. And that's just something Wall Street has really not even paid attention to in many years. In the second half of 2024, we can also expect some degree of interest rate cuts, which should help Tesla's overall demand. And all of these things are positive for Tesla. Now, one thing that I will also point out is clearly Tesla has not done well in the first half of 2024. The broader markets have not done really anything in 2024. Yes, the S&P is up a lot, but that's just because big tech, your mag six, if you will, it would be mag seven, but excluding Tesla, that is where all of the gains have been. And I'm just going to be honest, if you are bullish on markets today, you have to be bullish on a potential broadening out of our markets. Any broadening out of our markets would be very positive for Tesla stock, especially because the expected um, you know, EPS growth in 2025 is going to be massive. I mean, you could look at over 100% EPS growth year over year throughout every quarter of 2025. That's something to position for now. That's something to be bullish on Tesla stock now because the markets price in future returns. But first, we have to get Tesla's Q2 delivery number. Now, my official estimate is around 442,000 deliveries. Now, Wall Street is currently at about 435,000 deliveries. The IR compiled consensus is probably going to be around 430. So I think Tesla can beat um, both of these numbers. And I think Tesla will beat both of these numbers coming July 2nd. And just judging off of the way Tesla stock has reacted in recent days, it would suggest to me that a beat for Q2 deliveries is coming. It would actually suggest that some big firms already know what Tesla's numbers are going to be. And this will be a huge catalyst coming this upcoming Tuesday and really help pull a lot more money into Tesla stock. And it would not surprise me if Tesla could rally into, you know, the 210s or 220s based on just this Q2 delivery number alone. And then the focus will change to August 8th. And that's going to be coming 
in about a month or so, about five weeks or so. And Wall Street is going to get pretty excited about that as well. So it wouldn't even surprise me if Tesla could could rally into the mid 200s heading into August 8th. Now, depending on what happens with Tesla stock, August 8th could be a sell the news event at that point if we did rally into the mid um, 200s. But I do think a massive rally for Tesla stock is coming. And, and just considering Tesla is still down uh, quite a bit from the start of 2024, even after this latest rally, Tesla stock started 2024 at like 260. You're still down over 30% for this year. I think we can get a lot of those losses back in the next, um, you know, six to eight weeks. And again, especially as the markets start to look for different alternatives than just the big tech stocks that have worked this year, that could also help to pull more money into Tesla stock. Now, depending on the state of the economy and the trajectory of the Fed, these are all going to be things that will also have an impact on Tesla stock. In the better case scenario, you will see a broadening out of our markets. You will see the economy holding up. You will see maybe big tech not do much of anything. And that's your mag five, mag six stocks. They've already priced in a lot of good news. I mean, look at Apple, look at Nvidia, look at Google, look at Amazon. In fact, you've actually seen those stocks in the last day of the first half of, of, of 2024, which was Friday. You actually seen a lot of profit taking in these names. Um, in the last 30 minutes or so of trading. That's kind of a sign of what could be to come in the second half of this year. I'm not expecting big tech will do much of anything. I do think you will see a broadening out of our markets until, until the data starts to show we're heading into a recession. Now, when it starts to look like we're heading into a recession, that's where you get the 30, 40, 50% drop. That could happen this year. That could happen in 2025. Eventually, I think that will happen because eventually I think we are headed for a recession and I don't think the Fed is going to cut rates at precisely the right time. And that's the, mo the more doom and gloom scenario for the second half of 2024 is the data just deteriorates faster than we expect and you overall get a massive sell-off in the markets because, I mean, you're expecting almost 15% EPS growth for 2025. If we start to go into a recession or it looks like we're going into a recession, those estimates are way too high and that's gonna mean a lot of downside for our markets. That's kind of the worst case scenario for the second half of 2024. The better case scenario is the economy holds up, not great, it continues to deteriorate, um, but it's not outright recessionary. And you do see money flow into other areas besides just big tech. And I think that's a better base case assumption at this point that, you know, let's be honest, the economic data that we get from the government that we get from other institutions, it works with such a lag that it's going to take some time before the data actually reflects what's going on in the economy, what's going on with people's personal financial situations, right? Go talk to people. People are not doing well. People do not feel well about this economy. But those things take time to reflect in the data itself. So eventually it will happen. But does it happen during an election year? Probably not. I, I, I think we, the government would try to avoid that um, by any means necessary. So I think the better base case scenario at this point is I'm not expecting much from big tech at all. But I do think a lot of that you know, money is going to flow into other areas. It's really going to be a more broad based market rally. Now, in fact, if you actually seen Apple, Amazon, Nvidia, Google, Meta, all these stocks that have done well in, in, in 2024, you could actually see them sell off and the rest of the markets rally and you could get a correction just based on that alone because of the market cap waiting. And let me just throw a statistic at you. We've only seen a 5% drawdown this year. That would be the, the smallest drawdown during an election year since 1970. On, on average, on average, you see about a 13% correction during an election year for markets going back 100 years. You've only seen a 5% correction. I think it's, it's we should expect 
to see a larger correction at some point, but I don't think it's going to be an even based correction. I think it's going to be a big tech led correction in your mag six or mag five stocks, whereas the rest of the markets may just not do anything at all. I think you're better priced for a recession. I think you're better um, priced for bad news in a stock like a Tesla than Nvidia, right? Tesla's priced for bad things. Nvidia, Apple, Google, Amazon, they are not. So I do think, believe it or not, you could actually see Tesla have a very strong second half of this year and you could see the markets not do much of anything. You could see the markets actually go through a correction or two before the election and Tesla can do just fine, even in that kind of market environment, just because the concentration of what has got us here to now with markets sitting near all time highs has been really only just big tech that has played along. And yes, Dan Ives still has a $350 price target on Tesla stock. And I don't think you want to limit your expectations for Tesla. I do think this second half of the year is going to be a very strong period of time for Tesla because again, margin should improve in 2025. Demand should start to pick up. You have robo taxis, which will probably launch in some point in 2025. We'll get that clarity on August 8th. You're going to have maybe a Trump presidency that Dan Ives believes would be very positive for Tesla. Trump's a real estate guy. He sees what's going on in real estate, what's going on with rates. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people forget this. But in 2019, Trump actually threatened to fire Powell if he didn't cut rates. And what happened? Powell cut rates. Um, you would see a lot more rate cuts under a potential Trump presidency. The question of would inflation surge again? I, I personally don't think so. But that's a possibility. We'll have to watch when that time does come. But those rate cuts are going to be massively positive for Tesla. And I do think as the markets have now priced in a Trump presidency, Trump is expected to win the White House. I think that can even have a very positive, you know, near term effect on Tesla stock. <sighs> and overall, make those expectations for 2025 even better for Tesla. I, I really don't have a bear case on 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 Tesla right now. And I try to dig into this like like, you know, what's the bear case for Tesla? And going ahead, I, I, I just don't see it. I think Tesla is doing the right thing with buying down the interest rate instead of cutting prices. That is having a very positive impact on demand. We see this with Google Trends data. I'll share that in the next video coming out at 8 p.m. tonight. But, I mean, it's, it's really hard to come to even a bear case unless the economy does go into a recession. Then everything's going to sell off. And for the second half of 2024, I would not bet against Tesla stock even breaking above $300 per share. I think that is a very real possibility, especially after August um, 8th. That's when you're going to get a lot more excitement, potentially even see a re-rating in Tesla stock based on the robo taxi, especially again, if Tesla can give us some definitive guidance to when they expect to launch the robo taxi, that should be a cash cow, a, a profit machine for Tesla. And that can really uh, raise some expectations for Tesla, which Tesla's expectations have been so low and docile for so long. Just expectations going higher for Tesla can do a lot for Tesla stock. I also do think it's worth mentioning Tesla's short interest is sitting at some of the highest levels you've seen in years at 3.82% short interest of reflow and almost $21 billion that are currently sold short in Tesla. As Tesla stock does go higher, you're going to see a lot more pressure on the shorts. You're going to see more shorts start to cover. And I think that can even help be the, the cherry on the Sunday, if you will, of causing Tesla stock to rally. I don't think Tesla's in terms of a short squeeze is going to be the, the main reason why Tesla rallies. I do think more positioning will come into Tesla. I think some individuals that used to own Tesla will look at Tesla and say, there's better things coming for Tesla. I want to be in Tesla stock again. And obviously you have very low exposure from big money in Tesla. All of those things, I think, are going to have a larger positive impact to Tesla, including estimates going higher for 2025, Trump presidency being expected now. Uh, all of that is massively positive. 
But also, when you have 106 million shares sold short, over $21 billion worth of a short position, that can also drive a lot of buying pressure at certain times um, throughout, I think, the next six months, especially around good news. July 2nd could be a big event that could cause some shorts to start covering. August 8th is going to be another big event, and it wouldn't surprise me if shorts cover into that event, especially if Tesla does rally from now until August 8th. So let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. You guys enjoy your Sunday and I will see you in the next one.